What's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? How y'all doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. How is everyone doing? Tonight, we're going to be a, doing a reading or this morning for you guys, wherever you are in the world. Thank you all for your continued love and support for my channel. I really, truly appreciate you guys so much. And I'm, I'm saying this with a great deal of a gratitude and abundance. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um, somebody's reflecting. Somebody's reflecting and this person, they sit and they all up in their head about you, my collective. I don't know who this is, but I, I just can't help the way that I feel. No, I can't help the way that I feel. Da, 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 da. What? Mm. Ooh, you make my love come down. Mm. Oh, you make my love come down. That's what I heard. <laughs> all right. You make this person love come down. All right now. So I know automatically what that's. Y'all already know. Use your imagination. You already know what this person is doing. Okay. They can't help the way they feel. You feel me? Yeah. So somebody's, I'm hearing obsessed with you. There's something about your, your energy. Something about it's more than sex, though. I'm gonna tell you, it's just like they just this person just can't get enough, they can't get enough of you. There, it's like it's undeniable. You feel me? All right, now, all right, now, all right, Mother Isis, Father God, as I open these realms, yes, use me as a vessel, protect my energy and my auras, my guardian angels who's ordained onto me of the highest white light, use me as a vessel. Uh, yeah, so multi be, baby. So multi be. Let's see. I just can't help the way that I feel. They can't help the way they feel, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this. 17, baby. Okay. Now, for me, this is my Ace of Swords. This is my Seven of Swords energy, all of it. Well, well, then again, I would say this is more like my Seven Chakra. Somebody is getting, like, they've gained mental clarity here, okay? This person want to, and, and they want to end this cycle of not communicating with you, okay? They don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. So every time this person walk out the door with whoever they're with, they feel like they're cheating because they know that this, this person knows that they want to end the relationship. I feel like this could be a Scorpio. This could be like a air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this person want to come and tell you how they feel. Some of them are in a commitment. Some of them are sneaky. Some of them are sneaking and they're looking at your picture. Um, this person can also be like a Sagittarius energy here as well. Or Sag is in their chart. Okay, their moon sign could be Sag. Their moon sign could be Scorpio. Doesn't matter. Take what resonates my collective. But this person now sees the truth. They have mental clarity. And I feel like this person, they secretly want to come and take action. They want to say something to you. They do. Okay, this person is doing a lot of reflecting with the seven as well. They have been doing a lot of reflecting. And I feel like this person is ready to end whatever they're in. I feel like some of them are already in a situation or they're ready to put this to an end, the silence. They want to put the silence to an end. Okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this person is ready to walk away from whatever it is or whoever they're with, okay? This person has a deep, what would I say? Like, your sex is just, I don't know if you and this person had any type of intimacy before. Maybe you have, but this person just, they can't get you out of their head. They, I'm telling you, they can't. They, they tied a line to themselves as well when I said that seven of swords. This person is tied a line to themselves. You feel me? So let's see what's popping, my collective. I just can't help the way that I feel. And I heard last night the DJ saved my night. Okay. Oh, what's this? Three. Uh, you got this person's heart, my collective. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. 
you got this person's heart. This person could be a Gemini. Okay, but this person, you got this person's heart. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. Um, mm. You make this person happy. I, I don't know if this person, this person could be a Leo. Um, it comes back down to this eight again. But your love is very powerful. Whatever you, whatever you did to this person, my collective, I don't know. You make them want to change their life. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Yo, you make this person, you make me want to leave the one I'm with. Start a new relationship with you. This is what you do. All right. So I'm telling you right now, this person is coming in to express. They're coming in to communicate with you. Okay. Um. This person feel like they can definitely communicate with you. This person feel like they could be themselves with you, okay? But with this fifth house energy here, I feel like this is like a Leo energy, okay? You, 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 it's like, okay, I put a spell on you. This person feels like you put a spell on them. Like a love spell here. Love shack, give me love shack. I don't know why I keep hearing this. I feel like they're ready to leave this person out in the cold as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they're ready. They're ready to make a decision here with this 12 right here, this judgment right here. This person's ready to launch forward. They're ready to end whatever relationship or commitment they're in. Okay. Yeah, this person is, they're ready to be really happy. This person wants real love, real love. They want real love. Okay. And so with this eight right here, I feel like this person, you know, they probably built a lot. They, you know, built, you know, they have an abundance in this commitment with this person who they're with. You know, they probably have a lot of assets and, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's to a point where they don't even care um, leaving the money and all this shit behind. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. Their heart wants what they want. The heart wants what it wants. Okay. So I feel like this person is making a decision here. Okay. They're ready to leave this person out in the cold. They don't, they're ready to come. Cause it's not, it's not just, um, they realizing that all that material shit ain't making them happy. You feel me? They want love. You know, some of them could be in a marriage here. Okay. Uh, they got a wife here for some of them here or a husband, but this person is ready to be really, truly happy. This person has ascended. Um, I feel like they might be going through a divorce too as well, like a court situation here. The justice is here. Justice Hierophant is here. Yeah, this person. But the person who they're, they're, they're separating from, this person could be like a baby mama, a wife, or a husband, whoever. You know what I mean? Take what resonates. But this person is ready to take their journey. They're ready to launch forward with this chariot energy as well. Uh, I feel like it's to the point where this person, if this person was trying to threaten to like, I'm going to take your shit, I'm going to take your money, I'm going to take you for half your shit. Because you know, they probably got a lot of assets, properties, bank accounts, all that. This woman could be, threatening this masculine or you know um about their abundance that they built here but it's to the point where this masculine or this person don't, this person don't even care anymore like whatever i don't even care it doesn't even trigger this person anymore no it does not no it does not no they're like we could rebuild that i, I could rebuild that you know what i'm saying i could build that all over again i don't give a fuck i'm good i don't care you feel me wow um, but this person is willing to sacrifice all that material shit for their happiness. You know what I'm saying? They, they ready. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. They don't care. They, they, they're definitely letting go of this situation here. They're definitely letting go of this commitment, this marriage, whatever this is. They're, they, they're calling the final shots here. Like I'm done. This is it. This is my final decision. I'm good. I don't want to do it. Nope, nope, nope. This person is ready. This person has found their power and their strength. They found the willpower to let this shit go. They done. They're ready to go. They're ready to follow their path, their destined path. This person could be a Leo, but they're ready to take action. You know, they're going after their passion, whatever makes them happy. And I feel like it's you, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. Take it how it resonates here. All right. This person is ready to let it go. Decision, whatever they work for, all of that Eight of Pentacles. It's like, yep, everything I work, I'll make sure that if they got children in this situation, I'll make sure my kids are fed. I'm all, I'm good. I don't, I can, I can, I can, I got the skills so I can rebuild this. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can build this. 
You know, somebody's highly educated here. Somebody with this um, higher fin energy as well. This person's like, yeah, you could take, it's like you could take all the money you want, but I built this from the ground up. So it doesn't really matter because I, I created this. I can rebuild it. I got the master key here. You know what I'm saying? So I really don't care. Take it. Whatever. I'm willing to start over. Whatever. Fuck it. Let's get the um romance oracle here and then let's pull the tarot on it. All right. Yeah, this person is, yeah, they'll get that. Free yourself. Somebody's, it's time to take back control of your life. This person is taking control. They, they take it action. This person is standing in their strength. Like, yo, I'm good. I'm not even worried about that material shit no more. I'm not worried about the abundance, the money. When I'm happy, when I'm at my happiest and I have love, I can rebuild this shit. I, I, I created it so I can build it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody's really good. Somebody's educated here. Somebody runs their own business here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, somebody's ready to free themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they're about to free themselves. They don't care. They're ready to follow their destined path here. Okay? This person feels like you and them are fated to be. They're fate, you know? They've been asking spirit to show them the way. They've been asking spirit, what should I do? They've been communicating with the most high God and spirit told this person to follow their heart. Follow their heart. You know what I'm saying? Listen to your inner calling. Judgment here. Listen to your inner calling here. You feel me? Yeah. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And that's exactly what this person is doing. They're staying optimistic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, they are. I said very soon. They're, they're, they're coming in to express how they feel. I just can't help the way that I feel. This person wants you and them to retreat. Okay. It's time to disconnect from the world. This person wants you and them to retreat together, all right? Disconnect from the world. Get to know one another, you know what I'm saying? Learn some things about each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this person is ready to go, boo. They letting it go. Yeah, because they're in an unrequited love here. They're going to unrequited love. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So this person right here, this person was all about being seen, the person who they were with, you feel me? Um... This person right here was all about the pentacles, the money, you know what I'm saying? That higher friend, that, that status quo, you know what I mean? But this person has a lap mindset. It's like they don't know how to make any decisions on their own. So they're going to try to keep this person in this hangman energy, you know what I mean? Um... You know, this person ain't used to nothing. They ain't used to money. They ain't used to this wealth and this abundance. You know what I'm saying? But somebody realized they will have an abundant life with you. Um, you know what I mean? They'll have an abundant life once they have the love. Eight, nine, ten. This is eleven. This person's getting on their right path right here. This person is manifesting you in. I told you they was asking the most high God, what should they do? Because this person is letting go of their traditional beliefs. Like, yo, I don't want, yeah, I'm I'm letting go. I'm rising up to the occasion here. They're awakening. All right, this person is going through an awakening, you know what I'm saying? Because they're done. They're tired of this shit. You know, they're tired of that shit. It says, let go of control issue. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. There's a wedding involved here. Didn't I tell you somebody right here? They 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 letting go of this marriage. It says, this situation involves a marriage. This is the marriage right here. This is it. This is it right here, you know? So... It's an unrequited love because, like I said, it was all about the money. It was all about the status quo. You know, it was all about what this person could provide. You know what I mean? But this per there was no love in that situation. And that's the truth. They was only together because of whatever contracts they have here going, you know, legal contracts here. But this person just felt like, you know, I'm ready for happiness. I'm ready to rise above this occasion. This person is shedding their beliefs. This is like the reading I did a while ago. You know what I mean? All right. This person's ready to come in and they're ready to let go because I feel like they've been holding on to a situation like stuck due to the abundance that they have. But this person is realizing like, yo, with this five of pentacles energy, what I'm picking up here as well. It's like, yo, it's time to end this. It's only about money. You see that 10? It's like the more they give to that situation. Um. There's no growth in that situation because the, the person they're married to, the person that they with, this person has a love for material shit. They only love them when they can give them something new, like a new car, you know, a new house, a new bag, you know, that's when they really love this person. But that ain't love. That ain't love. So somebody decides to let go of the control issues. You let it go. I'm not trying to control this shit. No, I can rebuild my abundance. They're willing to sacrifice it. Yeah, there it is. There it is. This person want to come home. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youth and spirit to shine. There it go. But see, somebody was bound by their religious beliefs. You see what I'm saying? Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Well, this person is like, well, I can't do it no more. I'm done. This person wants playfulness. This person wants to come home to a happy home. You know, they want to be the type where you're around the stove cooking and they come flirt with you. And, you know, y'all play pillow fight together. This, this shit is dead. 
it's uh, it's unrequited. You know, it's boring. It's boring. It's done. You know what I'm saying? So this person is not allowing their religious factors anymore to affect their love life. No, because it's unrequited. It's a boring. It's boring. It's dead. It's boring. Like this person's ready to free themselves. Okay, they're ready to free themselves. Okay. Absolutely. Could be you too, my collective. Five of Cups energy. Higher fin energy. Look at this. Five of Cups and higher fin. Like I said, didn't I tell you this is the higher fin? The higher fin is out here twice. You know, there it is. Look at this. Look at this. Higher fin is out here three times. Like, really? Uh, hello. Okay. I'm hearing three times. The third time is a charm. Okay. So this person could be, um, getting married for the third time or don't mind getting married for the third time because the three is here again. You know what I'm saying? All right. This person could be, this could be their third marriage that they want to come and offer. This is their third marriage. I don't know, something like that here, but that unrequited love is this five of cups energy sitting here in an unhappy relationship here with this hierophant energy, you know, bound to your beliefs. But this person is feeling sad. They're feeling sad. You know, it's to the point where they're starting work to regret. Now that's getting ugly. Because if you're sitting here in this five of cups sadness energy, it's like with this unrequited energy, you're going to start to hate that person. You, you guys are going to start, they, they're going to start picking, even if, if, if a pin drop, that's how thick the air is. It's like you can feel the elephant in the room with these two. You feel me? So somebody work a lot. With this eight of pentacles energy, higher friend energy here, somebody stays at their place of work, their place of institution. This place, this person stays here. I feel like some of them tried marriage counseling. Some of them have tried marriage counseling. They have, but it's not working. You know, it's not working. It's not. Five of cups, higher friend energy. Yeah, it's not working. They've tried. Three of swords. There it is. There it is. There it is. So somebody's not happy in this situation. No, they're not. No, they're not. Three of Swords energy. They want real love. They want real love, but they're dealing with somebody who's very codependent. They go to that Six of Pentacles. And they go to Scales. Things need to be balanced. Somebody's giving too much to a situation and not receiving the love. They, are, they now know this person only want them for their money, for their abundance. For what they can provide. You know what I'm saying? This person is like a public figure too. They probably run their own company. They, you know, they probably have their own company. You know, um... You know, this person is very educated. This person is probably like two different sides of the track here is what I'm picking up. Five of Pentacles, higher fin. This person is of high status, you know, very well educated. This person don't know the value of money. So when they're not used to a nice house, nice car, they're not used to working. This person is working and holding up their status, you know, holding down their own. This person is like a Five of Pentacles. This person and their values and their morals and their principles and how they view money. It's like they don't have an understanding about it. So it's like this person has no integrity while this one believes in working hard to manifesting what you want. You know what I'm saying? The others sitting on their ass want to look pretty. All right. And they realize this person don't love them. They only love what they can give. And sitting here hurting over you. They want real love. This person wants real love. You feel me? Yeah. So they're giving too much to the situation here. Yeah. You know, they want stability. Ace of Pentacles energy here. You know what I mean? This is what they they want. They want they want the love and they want the abundance. They want somebody to share this wealth with. You know, they want it all. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, this person got a lot of money. This person is very wealthy. They wealthy with that ace of pentacles. Yes, they are. They are very wealthy. Okay. They would, this person wants someone that is nurturing, you know, somebody who's very compassionate as well. King of swords energy. Yeah. I feel like this person is ready to go. They ready. They about to ask for a divorce. All right, King of Swords is this person is they they spoke their truth. They said what was on their mind. They didn't hide it. They're not hiding anymore. You know what I mean? They're tired of hurting. They, they're not hiding it. They exposed how they feel. Um, Leo energy here. This person found their strength to speak up and be like, yo, I can't do this anymore. You know, with the star card here, it could be a um with the eleven here, it could be an Aquarius. But this person is like, yo, there's gotta be more to life. You know, my purpose is not just to work, pay bills, take care of you and provide a state. There got to be more to this. This is what a marriage is all about. Wheel of fortune. There you go. Destiny. Fate. Fate is here. 
It's it's time. They gotta be. There's gotta be a lot more. I told you this person is very fortunate. This person is always lucky to find to to create to to manifest. You know, this person is very well accomplished. You know what I mean with this wheel of fortune eight here. Yeah, this person is well accomplished. But with the nine of swords, ten of wands energy here, it's like this. It's weighing heavy on this person's mind. You know what I mean? This weighing heavy on their mind. Sleepless nights here. Some of them they're reminiscing about you, my collective. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's heavy on them. You know, for nine of swords, this person can't think straight. They can't sleep. They can't eat. Ten of wands, they got a lot of burdens because the person who they with, this person who they with, like I said, six of pentacles, very codependent. You know? Wow. 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 What else is going on here? Three of wands energy. I, you know, this person... Okay, for some of y'all here, this person definitely, I don't know if they're waiting, if they're waiting on a judgment here. I feel like they are waiting on a judgment here. I feel like this person is wrapping up their divorce, okay? Because this person is acting a fool. The person who they with is trying to take them for all what they got. I'm going to tell you that right now. Yeah, this person is trying to get half their wealth right here with the Six of Pentacles energy here. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. This person is looking long-term stability. You know, you're going to take care of me. They want spousal support, child support. They want alimony. They want the whole nine. So they're still trying to make this person wait. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but this person is in the past thinking about you. Six of cups, five, six of cups here. Somebody's in nostalgia and they're, they're waiting to wrap this up. I'm going to tell you right now, this person is waiting. But with this nine of swords energy here, this person's in fear that you're going to move on. This person's in fear that they're not going to end this situation in time. Mmm. Mmm. Six of Cups. Yeah, because they dealing with a Queen of Swords, honey. A Queen of Swords who's trying to use all sorts of mind manipulations, all sorts of trickery, thinking of everything they can. This Queen of Swords energy could be male or female, but this Queen of Swords energy is thinking of all sorts of ways to stop this person. You know, trying to stress them out because they know they're about to get left. They know they're about to get left. So they're trying to create... Um, they're trying to they're trying to hurt this person like for real for real because this person this queen of swords is operating out of a broken heart you know they know they're about to be left out you know what i'm saying yeah yeah they know they're about to be left out in the cold oh king of pentacles didn't i tell you there you go this masculine got bread didn't i tell you i picked up on the seven of swords energy right here Okay. Yeah. This person is like, they're tired of lying to themselves. Okay. I feel like with the King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords energy here, this masculine could be hiding money as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's being very cautious as well. Um, mm. with, with the waiting here, I feel like he's definitely got like a lawyer here. I'm picking up on like a lawyer. I feel like he's trying to like rearrange his assets here. He's waiting for something, but he got to be very cautious. Three of Wands, Seven of Swords here. Mm. I feel like what he's trying to do is move around his fortune here. That's what he's trying to do here. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. Oh, Two of Cups. Yeah, this, this, this person want to make sure when they come back. Two of Cups energy. This person who they're ending the relationship is really trying to cause pain. The person they're in a relationship with, they're really trying to cause pain. Two of Cups, Ten of Swords here. Yeah, they're really trying to hurt this person. Like, seriously, trying to hurt them, bring them down, tear them down. Because this person is hurt, uh, operating from a, 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 a hurt a hurt heart, a, a place of hurt right now. Okay, yeah. This Queen of Swords energy, yeah, definitely. Definitely operating out of this three of swords energy it's like i'm gonna make you regret ever trying to leave me you know what i mean i'm gonna make you regret telling me that you want to leave because i want i want long-term stability i want to make sure you take care of me you feel me but with the seven here and the justice here i feel like spirit is going to balance this out this karmic energy is going to get rightfully what's theirs you know they're not going to get more than what you know is necessary you know what i mean yeah yeah so I feel like with this staying optimistic, this person is stressed out. They are. They are. They want to leave the situation, but this karmic is making it difficult. This karmic energy is making it difficult because it is an unrequited love. So it's like this person is like, yo, I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you to the end. I'm going to get you. I'm going to hurt you. Like ten of, 10 of swords energy, five of cups. I'm going to make you regret. You know, it's like, yeah. Because this person, all because this person is a free day self. 
They're ready to follow they, what's destined for them. And they don't feel like this is, it's like they've outgrown this situation. You know what I mean? So they're still waiting. Some of these karmics don't even want to sign the divorce papers. Okay? So they're trying to cause burdens right here. They're asking for a lot when it comes to court. They're asking for a lot with this Ten of Wands energy here. They're asking for a lot. Okay? This King of Pentacles. This is the one right here. He's the one or she that's providing. Take it how it resonates. The male or the female could be the breadwinner nowadays. You feel me? So, yeah. Wow. This person probably asked you to travel with them too. Travel away to a pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to do they trying to juggle shit out here right now. They're juggling. They're juggling right here. Because this karmic is causing a lot of delays. You know what I'm saying? But they're gonna keep fucking around. This karmic is going to end up fucking around and they're going to only get what's necessary with this two of pentacles here. Enough to pay the bills. They ain't going to get no extra. They ain't going to get no extra. Because that's what you could. This person is operating from a low vibrational energy. This person has no, you know, this person is in lack. They got a lack mindset. You feel me? So they're going to keep fucking around till they get their karma that they ain't going to get all this because they what they want is half of this ace of pentacles. They want half. Of this man's abundance. Everything that he worked for. Eight of pentacles. They want half of this shit. Ace of pentacles. Eight to the six. They want half. But they're going to keep fucking around. Till they only get two pentacles. What's necessary. Enough to juggle to keep the bills on. The lights on. Pay what they need to pay. You feel me? They're going to keep messing around. Because this person is trying to come up with all sorts of bullshit trickery. King of swords. Queen of swords here. Right? Alright? Take it how it resonates here. They're going to end up walking away with not much. They want this king of pentacles to provide long-term stability for them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But this person is still going to walk away. King of swords is still leaving. They still getting that divorce no matter what. So they could be trying to threaten this masculine or threaten this person. Two of swords. Right there. Two of swords. This person, they're blocking them. They're not even paying them no attention. You know, and they still trying to come with a... Still, still indecisive. They don't want what they're getting in court. They're not trying to take the offer. You feel me? No, they're not. But this person is in hermit energy. This person is in isolating. They're not even arguing. I feel like some of them probably got their lawyer dealing with this shit. You feel me? But with this two of swords hermit energy, this person is no longer bothered by this karmic energy. This king of swords spoke his truth. He see things from a higher perspective. He's more disciplined and he ain't playing. Three of swords, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me. I'm right here already healed. I already did my healing. So while this person was here contemplating over this shit, huh, this person was trying to hold on. This karmic energy need to let go of control issues because she's here. She's trying to pull out all stops to all sorts of tactics to keep this person bound. But it's not working like, yo, yo, you're not. Listen, I got my faith right. I'm holding the faith. You ain't going to tell me what I need to do with my life. See this three swords right here with this king of swords energy like, yo. I got mental clarity. Spirit is guiding me. I'm good. I already done my healing. Cause so this person was already healing while they were in this situation. So this karmic right here feels like they 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 with the nine of swords, ten of swords energy here. They trying to find every single way to hurt this person. Cause whatever buttons they trying to push to trigger this person, it's not triggering. They're hermit. They're in a hermit. No, they're not. They're not triggering this person at all. No, they're not. No, they're not. World card. It's gonna end regardless. Here it is with the world card. There ain't nothing you could do to trigger me. It's still going to end. Done. Cycle over. Bye. It's over. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This person's trying to figure out a way to keep this person stuck. Hangman energy. I told you I picked it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ain't doing it. They try to manipulate this masculine with sex. I see the queen of wands. They try to manipulate him. So it's like they, they were on the fence. This person got issues. They got mental issues. They try to play all type of mental games. They try to use sex to try to keep this person that that didn't work because this person doesn't want to be with them. They're in isolation. They're hermit. They're not hermit and they don't want sex with them. They ain't trying to do nothing. So when they can't get this person to have sex with them, that's when they flip the script and try to try other things to control this person. It's like, nah, I'm good. Five, six, seven. Yeah. They're trying to find all sorts of options here. They try to find other ways to make shit happen. But this masculine is bossed up. Emperor. And this person is still in the karmic energy. They go to karmic and they go to emperor. This person is more, this person is matured. So the things that they used to do to get this person all up in their head and argue back with them and fight with them or trigger them, that shit ain't working no more. This person matured. 
Not only did they mature physically, but they also matured spiritually. Like, you can't bother me. I'm good. You think you're going to interrupt me? Nah, baby. I'm staying right here on this emperor energy or empress. Take it how I resonate. So this person is feeling pissed off because it's over already. It's been over. It's been an unrequited love. And the whole time this person was there, they was waiting, you know, because I feel like this person didn't want to sign the papers. No, they didn't want to sign it, you know? I look at them acting real fucking toxic. Toxic. Toxic with that devil card, okay? So whatever this person is trying to do, this karmic is trying to do, they need to let go of control issues because they're going to end up losing. They're going to end up losing in the long run, okay? This, divorce, this, this emperor done made up his mind, king of swords, hermit energy, like, yep, I want a divorce and it's final. That's it. I don't give a fuck anymore. Remember when I told you they don't, get, they don't care about the money anymore? Like, yo, fuck that. I don't care. Five, six, eight of cups. I'm still walking the fuck away. Goodbye. Stop playing your little childish mental game. Page of swords energy. Cut the bullshit. Ain't no, you can't play me. All right? Bye. They even telling the kid, oh, daddy don't want to be with us no more. Mommy's trying to break up the family. Don't you see he's walking away from us? Girl, boy, bye. Go have 10 seats. Go have 10 seats. Okay? Stop. Stop. Go have a seat. Go have a seat. Tower. Trying to get caught, create chaos. Trying to create upheaval, but it's not bothering this person. This emperor, king of pentacles, hermit energy. It, uh, excuse me. Bye. All right. So that's what I have for you, my collective. Yeah, this karmic just can't understand this shit is over. Bye. Let go of control issues. It's unrequited. You already know that. This masculine or this feminine already know you only want me for my money. I'm ready to take my destined path. I'm ready to follow my path. I'm standing in my strength and there's nothing more you could do. I got my willpower under control. I got shit under control. I'm launching forward. I'm freeing myself. I already freed myself. This person already freed themselves while they were there. So this karmic thought that they was going to keep this person bound or try to use sex to hold on to them or try to use something toxic here. But this person is stupid. This is the one. This, this one right here. Trying to keep shit under control. It ain't working. So this person is stressed the fuck out. Nine of Swords. They stressed out. They stressed out. Ten of Swords because they know it's an ending. Okay? This person is even threatening that they're going to hurt themselves. You know? Just playing these mental mind games. But they're going to end up fucking around and end up in a mental institution. I'm going to tell you right now. They keep messing around. They're going to end up in a mental institution. Spirit is going to see this person unfit. The judge is going to see this person unfit to be able to take care of themselves or the child or the children. So they keep messing around. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. We, I knew I seen the Queen of Swords. There it is. You want to keep playing these mind games? Two can play this game. But guess what? I'm going to move more wiser. I'm going to speak my truth. I spoke my truth. I'm not trying to be malicious. I'm being mature about the situation. Emperor here. I'm being mature about the situation. But I feel like this emperor got messages too. You know what I'm saying? Leaving threatening messages. I'm going to make you regret that you did this. Da -da 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 -da. Five of Cups energy. Yeah, like go, go have a seat. Go have 10 seats. Okay? So this masculine is very, very wise. Very wise, very wise, okay? Very wise. And at the same time, weighing his options here. Seven of Cups. He was weighing the options here, making sure that shit was organized the way he wanted it, dividing his assets, putting it where he needs to put it, who he could trust in. Some of them was putting shit in their mama's name, okay? Yeah, took shit out of their name. If they bought anything new, if they bought a new property, anything they're putting in a family member's name, somebody who they can trust, like a divine feminine energy here, empress energy here, okay? Could be their own mama, you know what I'm saying? Or a woman that they could trust, an older sister or something, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, this person is moving with caution, you know? They're taking their fortune on the road with them. Bye, it's time to let go of this karmic life cycle. Bye. You're not a part of my destiny. What's destined to be, you can't stop it. Tower, divine intervention. Bye. Okay? This person is much wiser now. This person is more aware of who they are. They've gone through an awakening. So this person was healing the whole time they were there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. This person, this karmic energy is feeling miserable. You know what I'm saying? They're feeling so fucking unfulfilled right now. They're feeling miserable. They're looking for company with this four of cups. Feeling real miserable. Acting like a fool right now. Trying to move quick. Trying to do some childish shit. You know what I'm saying? But this person, like I said, standing in their strength. You cannot emotionally fuck with me. Standing in my strength, boo. Go have ten seeds. Go do some healing. Nine of wands. It's, go heal. Stop. Cut it out. Five of pentacles, like I said fighting over money there it goes there it goes but this this king of cups 
he's in love with somebody else and definitely got his emotions under control. Emotion, he's very mature. Go have 10 seats, please. Go have a seat. Okay? So with that five of pentacles right here, that's what they're fighting over, money. This karmic wants to fight over money. Fight. Yeah. Very persistent. You know? Thought they could take this masculine down because he's been through a lot. Whoever this person is with the strength and the nine of wands energy, they've been through a lot trying to uphold that shit. They was like, it's enough is enough. Shit, it's, it's unrequited. Let me just speak my truth, King of Swords. It's enough. Done. I'm over it. No more. It can't trigger me anymore. Can't. I'm holding back on my feelings. I'm very mature with it. You can't fuck with me no more. You feel me? So, this karmic is feeling upset because this person wants love. Playfulness. Somebody to love. They want to give their heart and their money and their time to somebody who they want to enjoy life with the money and the love. They want the full, the whole nine yards. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But this karmic is fighting to do everything to get this person's attention. You know what I'm saying? They're toxic. You know what I mean? But they're going to end up fucking around and losing everything. They ain't going to get what they expect. No, they're not. You and this person might go on a retreat, might go on a vacation. I told you they might ask you to travel with them somewhere. Chariot energy here as well. You know what I mean? Yeah, this person is investing in a new property as well. Bought a new home. All right, but you're about to get communication from this person. They're about to come and tell you how much they love you. I'm going to tell you the truth. They're about to come and express that. All right, yeah, work card because that cycle is over. Some of them are still waiting for a judgment to finish, to wrap up a divorce here. Okay, yeah, definitely. They're about to celebrate. Some of them already are celebrating this divorce. <laughs> Who did a divorce celebration party here? Anyways, it's your girl, Unknown Goddess. I love my soul subscribers. I wish you guys love, light, and peace.